Detours. Brought to you by Sports and Spokes, the magazine for wheelchair sports and recreation. As a doctor of physical medicine and rehabilitation, Lisa Maddox has taken on the role of showing what can be accomplished after disability, serving as a mentor to newer veterans at this year's National Veterans Wheelchair Games. Lisa encourages other vets to be resilient in achieving their goals and staying physically active. Lisa, you've had an opportunity here. This is your fourth vet games. Um, and you've had an opportunity to play a lot of different sports. Which ones have you liked so far? Um, pickleball and softball. And what else have I done? I love air rifles. I'm not very good at it, but I love doing it. When you look around when you come to the games, there's a lot of opportunity here. Uh, do you think that that, you know, for, for anybody, I mean, you're com coming here for your fourth time, but what's it like for maybe the new people coming here to have just this multitude of opportunity to play different sports? Um, it's, it builds self-confidence and it really, it really helps you because you see other people that look like you and that get around like you do. And we've all, we all share the same thing, i.e. we've all gone through basic training and gone through the, quote, indoctrination into the service, which is a hard thing, a rite of passage. And so regardless of the service that you're in, you all each have had that same experience, regardless of the service. So um, there's, a, there's a, common, a commonality and a camaraderie that you don't have in the civilian world. You know, you're speaking about things like basic training and going through, you know, all the various trainings that go along with being in the military, which is always, in my mind led to a stronger more durable person so by doing that do you think in some ways uh you know the the, the vets have have you know an upper you know, no pun intended an upper upper leg on the competition when he when well, you're coming into a to tough situation on. yeah i only have one leg to stand yeah on, i but, know that <laughs> um, but um but I mean, there's I, a tenacity I, behind the vet, there, right? There is, and you know, I don't know if you're religious or the people watching are religious, but you know, you hear the adage that God doesn't give you something, you know, doesn't give you more than you can handle. And I think a lot of times you see people that have disabilities, but that have good attitudes because they've adjusted. And you realize that you can do a lot of the same things you used to do, although some will have more effort and you have to do it in a different manner. But you can do a lot of the same things that you did before. We'd like to take a minute to thank our sponsor, Sports and Spokes Magazine. For nearly 50 years, they produced stories on iconic athletes performing at the top of their game, given generational coverage of sports dating back to the 1970s, and they've shown the way with exciting and timeless magazine cover shots. To stay on top of all the latest news from the world of high-performance adaptive sports, go to sportsandspokes.com. Sports and Spokes, the magazine for wheelchair sports and recreation. You, you know, you seem like a really gregarious person to me. I, every time we see you're talking to someone, you're doing something. So the games here... It's even more than sport in a way. I mean, you're 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 having an experience. What's the experience about? Well, it's like a family reunion because you 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 see people that you don't see on a regular basis, and you know when you see them the next year, I don't remember people's names, but they remember my face because I'm one of the women veterans that does a lot of stuff, and so they see me and they're like, "Hey, first base, how you doing?" You know, which is really cool. Do you think in some ways? Even though it's it's fun to play the sports, it's also, uh, you know, I see you kind of in that role of, you know, just carrying on a certain spirit and a, and a, and a leadership. Do you, do, you, do you feel like you make a, a difference coming around here, talking to people and encouraging them? I think so, because especially when you run into somebody who is their first or second games, and they sometimes they look a little lost and they're kind of not sure, and I'll just walk up to somebody and be like, hey, what's up, man, how you doing? I don't know. But that doesn't matter. Because like you said, there's it's that camaraderie that's here. So if there was a, if there's kind of a way to sum up the games and sports and what it's done for you and what you think it's doing for others here, what would that be? How would you sum that up? I would say um, I think it's one of those things that it definitely builds self-confidence. Um, you have somebody to vent to about what you're dealing with 
and you're talking to somebody who probably has gone through that or is going through it as well. And so there's that commonality as well because walking, sitting, it doesn't matter. Everybody has good days and bad days. And for a lot of these vets, coming here is their time, their one time to get out of the house in a big way for the year. A lot of these guys are like shut-ins and they don't really interact with other people a lot. So this gets them out of the house and it also gets them being active. Yeah, I think you're right. I think showing people opportunity and, uh, and giving them a, a chance to try something new, um, sometimes that opens a door, would you say? And encouraging people to, when they leave, try to find an activity that they did here when they go home. Because there's a lot of uh, Paralympic, uh, Paralympic sports clubs around the country that do the sports in the Paralympics. And those are free to people who are disabled and you can join those clubs. And they're pretty much in major big cities. Um, but even in the smaller cities, you can find pickleball. You can find, you know, if you like to shoot pool, go to a, bu go to a, a bar or club or something and, and shoot pool or do whatever. And you can find those opportunities. And because you've done it here, now you have the confidence to know, you know what, I can still do that. Not everybody needs to be a Paralympian to enjoy sports exactly. or have a takeaway exactly. from sports. Exactly.